Hi guys. Recently, I got a lot of messages and comments, saying that the method used in my videos for making a Chrome OS disk image, doesn't work. Naturally, I thought the problem is at their end, because I've used this method many times and never had problems with it. I thought that maybe they typed the commands wrong, or put in a wrong path. To clear the matter, I made a test by myself and then I realized that they were right. Kinda. You see, the method presented in my video still works, but not for the new Chrome OS version, 94. If you use any version from 93 down, the method presented in my videos is legit. But from version 94, things change. It's not harder, longer, or anything else. Just a little different. And in this video I will show you how to do it. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. I have already downloaded the recovery image and brunch framework for both versions, 93 and 94. Before I start with 94, I want to go fast over the 93 version, just to show that everything is fine. Because this is more of a recap, and because I didn't make just one, but three similar videos, I will also skip explaining the following commands. But if this is your first time here, on my channel, or first time trying to make a Chrome OS disk image, then I recommend watching this video first. Here you'll learn step by step what you have to do before making the actual image in Ubuntu. Also, you can find the commands in the description, from where you can just copy and paste them in your terminal. I will also post the links from where you can download the recovery image and brunch framework. And if you don't know if your CPU is compatible or not, you can check that out here. Soon, I will also make a detailed video about CPU compatibility with Chrome OS, because this is by far the most common issue in the comments. Okay, everything went well, and the Chrome OS image is done, and ready to use. And now, let's see what's all about with the new version, and how is 94 different from 93. We start the same, by extracting the recovery image from the archive, and then we open up Ubuntu. Assuming this is not your first try, we start with the path command. But if it's your first time here, check the description for the commands for update and CGPT that you need to enter before all this. Up to this point, there was nothing new. But from now on is what's important, and different from the old version. First, you need to choose a partition, and inside that partition, you need to create a folder. You can name that folder Chrome OS, Ramus, or whatever you want. I named mine Chrome OS. Back in terminal, type the command, sudo, bash, chrome os, dash, install, dot, sh, dash, src. Copy the Chrome OS recovery bin, and paste it in the command. Then type in, dash, dst, slash, mnt, slash, the partition letter, in my case, letter G, followed by the name of the folder you just created. It's very important not to forget to add the folder name, or to type it correctly. Failing to do so, can wipe out the entire partition. Trust me, that happened while I was preparing for this video and I lost over 120 gigs of data. I did manage to recover it all. And as for how I did it, well, that's a story for another video. When the image is done, you will see the following message, where you are asked to type in dual boot if you want a dual boot system with Grub2Win, or to press enter if you want a simple disk image that you can flash it on a USB. I will cover the dual boot with Grub2Win method in the next video. For now, let's stick with the basics and create a simple disk image. To do that, the next step is to press enter. The Chrome OS image has been successfully created. If you go to the partition where you created the folder, you'll see that the folder is now the image. But not quite, because it has no extension. No worries though, 
You can add the extension yourself. Just right click on the file, rename and add .img. Now, all you have to do is launch Rufus and flash the image on the USB. The USB must be minimum 16 gigs and be careful because all the data from it will be wiped out. So better make a backup if you have important files stored on it. Okay. With the USB ready, you can test out Chrome OS. Just restart your device, enter in boot menu and choose your USB. Common keys for accessing the boot menu are Escape, F2, F10 or F12, depending on the manufacturer.